Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 151 of Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and uh, while we were resting, while well, we are resting, uh, based on, because we just uh, did a battle, a couple of battles, right, uh, and we never actually rested, uh, another army was formed, and... Okay, and so many events happened while I was just resting here, uh, just as a pickup from what we left off yesterday was that uh, there is, first, on our money, we right now have 102 million, so there we still haven't seen the cap. I thought it would be about 100 million. That was why we were targeting 100 million before we actually uh, start looking for trouble or announcing our faction. But apparently there's no cap. So uh, we have hit 100 million, uh, 102 right now, because on a daily basis, I think we're making about 60 to 70,000. And then uh, we also have the good news that uh, we have a new member. Uh, a baby was born. Uh, Veragid has born a new baby for us, uh, gave birth to a healthy baby, which is a good, which is good news. And the other thing that has happened also is that, uh, the clan of, uh, the clan of the faction of Valandia, I was looking for, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, let us go back to, uh, our town. And let's go to the keep. So when I was looking at the dungeon and I was trying to see where Erdogan is, right? And I was hoping that uh, some of these guys would would join us after, you know, because I, I did some crafting and then we spent some time to rest. Might as well do two things, yeah? two birds with one stone. So I, uh, I crafted. And uh, there was also an order in the smithy for a 200 sword for 82,000. So I was looking for Erdogan. I couldn't find him. Only here is Eleduran, not El Erdogan. So remember yesterday we were looking at for uh, where Erdogan has gone and I couldn't find him. So um, anyway, if we look at our garrison, so we are... We are almost fully healed up. We are at 573. Uh, we still have 52 people that are wounded, and that's the reason why we were resting in town, because the healing process in town is much faster. Anyway, so what happened was that, okay, we have dropped off the prisoners, and we are not at full strength yet. And uh, I think, hold on, okay, yeah, they are, uh, we have, we have virtually exhausted all the funds in town, because they have only 2200. Ninety-five. Let's sell them something like ninety-three, so that they are not totally out of cash. Uh, anyway, I went to check, see where where did did Erdogan like kind of. Uh, Escape from us when we, um, when he was a prisoner of ours. Apparently, he died. I did not notice that. So the current leader is now Alaris, and he is so nice as to uh, form an army and show up right on our doorstep. So this, what is their, uh, what is their clan name? Del Mara, 
Del Mera. Okay. Um, so Del Mera. Okay. So he took over from Erdogan, and he showed up in our footstep, on our doorstep, <laughs> footsteps. And so we might as well welcome him. And uh, so he is right now. What is he trying to do here? Uh, what is his speed? He is going at three and we are going at four so we are slightly and he has let's check at his army so his army has Volandian vanguard so that's high level five 86 uh, recruits uh, 136 oh he is heavy crossbow okay spearman Volandian crossbow so 136 and 67 so 200 crossbow men uh very few knights two 12 valandian knights asurai youth recruits so he is he's basically a uh range unit and oh he's showing 120 plus uh cavalry so the valandian vanguard 14 valandian gallant 17 those are both uh cavalry and then Valandian light cavalry of seven uh, and then he has eight Valandian champion Valandian cavalry of six so he is relatively light oh, oh he has some uh, uh, banner knights ten uh, mm, cataphracts of one so he is relatively light we can take him on with our current uh, troops, but I would rather spread it around so that uh, Who is near nearby uh, is this uh, Soros parties nearby? Who else is nearby? Uh, Mitaras over there Gonka is over there. Who's Ger Gerta? Who's Gerta? I think she went all the way back Where's Gerta? Oh, no, that Himili outcast is not a, uh, what's this one? Ria, no, these are uh, caravans. I don't see Goethe. Sianan, Mitara, Gonka. Uh, I don't see Goethe. You know what? Let's check on the uh, here, and we will see on parties. Oh, plus the thing is, I think uh, for Dunglanis, what we want is to uh, increase their budget so that they can continue to. Okay, we put it at two thousand, and let's see where Goethe is. Where is Goethe? Goethe is oh oh she is in Carbon Seth. Okay, uh, I think we don't we don't include her in our army because if we do that, she might bump into uh, a Larry, right? So let us form up our party. It is so nice if we're doing only our own party, our, our own party members, because they are all, uh, we don't spend any influence points. And then we have like 49,000 and we are gaining something like uh, 74 a day. So that is fantastic. Okay. Okay, now we can go forward and check on these guys. We can now shadow this guy. Sora will be joining us very quickly because she's just behind us. Where's this guy going? A gathering at Glintor. Okay, okay, yes. We will not give you s that much time. Oh, what if we come?
I think Gerta will just join us as soon as... No, 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 don't get in there. Jeez, Gerta is going to join us. Don't, don't tell me she's going to jump right in. Oh, she is jumping right in. Who's this? Is this Gerda? Yeah, let's just invite her into our party then. So, what's this guy doing now? Uh, running away from Yal's party. We, his speed is 1.9, our speed is 4.2. But that will change as soon as the army forms up, right? It will slow us down, uh, let's say on the armies. Let's just bulk up. You know what? Uh, manage. Let's it. Let's add Gerta to it. I cannot see anything. Why are they not joining up? Well, Why are they not? Oh, they just down to you and me. Let's make it a fight that the bards will sing about, eh? So everybody joined up. Okay, that's fine. There are f one, two, three, four, five lords. You know what? What I want to do is save this. <laughs> Let's save this. Because again, you know what? I might commit seppuku again and just uh, crash into them and just die <laughs> and then the whole thing again is oh uh am i carrying my sword yes i'm carrying my sword i'm not carrying the itty bitty tiny little uh light mace right okay before i do that yeah again <laughs> yeah i just keep uh, i'm very forgetful okay uh let's check what i am oh what am I carrying? Uh, what is my sword? No. Highlander and it's a uh, 109. Okay, we are carrying the right uh, equipment. And then who are the... What perks do we get? You know what? I have not uh, checked on our perks because uh, especially for faces. It's like, oh, that's 17 perks. That's like a lot of people gain perks because we have had two battles in the past and I have not checked on the perks or even the, uh, what do you call this, uh, leveling up of these people, right? So I'm getting careless and um, not a good idea. It's like committing seppuku. Every time we want to grab every little advantage we have, Uh, Benny Seth will just get more hit points. Okay, that is always uh, better because we our thing our character only has just over a hundred hit points, like a hundred and ten or something. Uh, Said Said now went up by one. And I think we improve his writing, maybe? He is maxed out on bows. Maybe writing is more important? I don't know. Uh, what's the next one on writing? Uh, relief force. Maybe let's just keep on improving his bows. Or his writing. I 
I think better riding, uh, he gets a better horse. I think he gets, he, he has already a good horse, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think let's go more with offense. And at the same time with, oh, yeah. I knew it, I knew it, face, oh, and he also gained one level, I mean, uh, one attribute, no, 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 not me. See, we need to increase this, um, apprenticeship, five experience to troops when a siege engine is built, that is, as an engineer, which is good, right, plus one prosperity gain for each unique project in the government settlement, uh, that's as a governor, one recruitment slot when recruiting from artisan nobles, 25 percent will hit points ah, if as a governor so that's on a defense side as a governor no we're using him as an engineer so we want five experience to troops when a siege engine is built yeah that's his skill as the uh, again we have so we have we're we're his we're maxing him out here uh Okay, I'm eager to get into <laughs> into the business of fighting those guys, but again, uh, plunging headlong into it is not in our favor. Whoa, okay, Ganymimus is getting better. I think he, yeah, his stewardship is 324 now. Uh, plus 10 hit point regeneration while waiting the settlements. As a party leader, uh, ten daily experience to foot troops while waiting in settlements. This is ten percent hit points regeneration. Three daily experience on to foot while traveling. I think this is better as party leader. As party leader, because we want them constantly moving. And they're more often, that's why we, they only gain 3% daily experience to foot while traveling. That's not very helpful because uh, we need that as a party leader, but uh, Xenon. Oh, plus party size definitely uh, in, case, in case we want to make him one militia recruitment. In, plus, if we make him a governor, that's plus one militia is very, very strong. There's no question on that one. That's always uh, Friduna. Uh, one percent daily animals to party to reproduce. Fifty percent party penalty from herding. Uh, as governor, I think five percent to villages bound to a governed village, or fifteen percent chance of producing tier two. No, no, this one's better. I think, yeah, we we'll just go with the her potential as a governor. Uh, this is Goethe. Uh, Thirty headshot. I think while moving, this is better. Five damage with bows by troops in your formation. Or this one. While moving, uh, she will be involved in fighting, so I, I will, let's go with that one. You know, I think maybe because the AI has a better uh, control than us, maybe the other one should be better headshots. 10% uh, damage to your infantry from range troops when troops are sent to confront the enemy. 10% damage by your troops to cavalry. I think this one to your infantry from minus 10. Okay, longevity is better. I think so. I think uh, she has one, one point. So we've gotten in her scouting, leadership, and stewardship are all maxed out. Uh, and she is a fighter, so we're going to give her more points in... 
Wow, she has barely any movements there. Because um, at least these things have moved up, right? She's now at 200 plus. This one is at 85. This one is at... Oh, we need to give her more medicine. Right. Right, more medicine. Because, uh, yeah... Right, she has her own party, so she is the healer for the group. Okay, I almost forgot. Okay, uh, who else? See, lots of points from the recent battles. Canon. Again, five with 100 weapons while mounted. That's good. Removed movement speed penalty of wielding of shields. No, I think. While mounted, I I always prefer inf uh, cavalry. So I don't know. I might be I might I might be wrong doing this. But uh, right now we're treating her uh, him as a uh, leader. So all of these things are here. I mean, as part of our troops. Virgid. Longer stun duration? No. 20% handling with one hep. Yes, that's better. Twenty-six. Wow, she does not have any <laughs> any specs on here. Yeah, this specs actually yeah gives her a multiplier in terms of learning speed. Okay, we still have five more points. You know, I should have done this on my own. I, I, at the same time, I was thinking maybe it is good in a sense that uh, oh, five hit points, yes. 30% recovery of lost hit points after each battle. No, no, five hit points, That that is huge. That is huge, okay, that is huge. You know, maybe we should have done ourselves a favor by uh, being our own medic. Because we can, that five points is very, is, we currently have, I think, 110 hit points. So that five points is big. String speed, uh, plus one daily militia recruitment in the governance settlement. That is always good. That is, we always go for one militia and also the 2% string speed is what has been keeping us alive in the tournaments. Amarius accuracy penalty while moving us against headshots. See again, headshot damage. I wonder if they go for headshots or they go for, uh, I think we're doing more of this than castle. I think in the castles they can afford to be uh, more more headshot possibility as against oh, five hit points definitely. Okay, we'll get the five hit points. Oh, we still have again, is he oh, Amaris yeah, we still have some points let's invest more here He's got 15 points in that one. Maybe one more. Okay. He's maxed out. These are all fighting, right? Okay. Um, and then Avigos. Avigos just joined us, I think, right? Damage, no, no. 20% handling of two one-handed, yeah. Uh, he's got five levels that he can actually you know, invest in. I don't know where, where he ultimately will be placed, but he oh he has high leadership, so we can turn him into a uh, a party leader. Damage, no, twenty percent handling, yeah. When I'm doing this, it's all about self-projection. I'm, I'm projecting my ability to them or what I would have wanted if I were that 
in that in their shoes but sometimes you know I we have to keep ourselves separate from them because uh, right now we are constantly the clan leader and party leader and maybe uh, what's good for us is not necessarily good for them Himil the outcast he is a currently a caravan leader 5% speed on deserts and dunes and as a governor two and a half tax increase from government settlement this is pit penalty from forest if your party is composed of seven or more infantry units I don't know that so there's an if here and this is no if 10% tax income from villages I think from settlements better okay I think that's it right I think yeah we have done a very shall we say a very focused uh, look at our at our characters or our companions or all of our clan members a development process so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here thank you guys for joining me I hope you join me in the next episode bye